You hungry? Look, I brought your food and your waters. And I'll give you some fresh waters too. <laughs> what do you think of this place, man? All right, let's shut the door. This is so much smaller than I expected. It's kind of cool to be in a plane while it's raining. It's quite relaxing. Check all this stuff out. This used to be a working plane. I have a feeling it doesn't work anymore. Being a pilot looks complicated. The area around this is absolutely beautiful. Look, it's just fields. I mean, that's bird poop, but there's fields. I'm gonna go to sleep. See you in the morning. After dropping off my van to sell up north, it was time to make the journey home. It's a 15 hour drive, which I split into two days. My car was packed full of old stuff from my childhood that I picked up from my dad's house. So Stumpy and I found an old airplane in a field to sleep in, which sounds kind of strange now that I say it out loud, but it was technically an Airbnb. I wasn't just squatting in some random abandoned plane, although that would have been much cooler. We picked up Ollie, went home to unload all my stuff, and started preparing my new vehicle for some adventure. Adventures. Welcome. So I got some things. I got Reflectix, adhesive glue fabric. The black is gonna go on the outside. This little fox print is gonna go on the inside. So basically I'm gonna cut out pieces to match the size of the windows and then just shove them into place. Then I can cut out the stuff and put that on there and make them all pretty and shit. So that's like a little over 14 inches. Perfect. And then, how does this work? There you go. Am I stupid? Why am I so confused? Oh, that's how it goes. Now I'm gonna do the big windows. I really like the simplicity of camping out of small vehicles. I loved the van, but it was almost too much for me. Even when I was living in it full time, it felt like too much. There's something really nice and really like cozy, I think, about just car camping. Okay, I think that's the right size. I think that'll do the trick. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> This is the fanciest vehicle I've ever owned. You just press a button and the back door closes. Isn't that nuts? Oh, I'm sweating. Can you tell that I'm sweating? See, what's cool about these is they just kind of stay put. You make them exactly the right size, shove them in, and then they're perfect. They just stay there. You don't need any extra steps. I'm sweating. I'm sweating a lot. I need to get out of here. Uh, freedom! I cut the pieces. Now I'm gonna bring them to the garage, I think, and then spray them. Spray them with the glue and stick them on fabric. Okay, listen up. I got... <laughs> This cloth, this one's just plain black and this is for the outside because I don't want any creepers looking through the windows when I'm sleeping. This will make it look super stealthy because from the outside, when you look into the vehicle, all you'll see is black.
rest. They're finished. Look, look at the cute little foxes. Let's test it. Oh my goodness. Look at all the baby foxes. This mattress is great. I don't remember where I got it because I got it like probably seven years ago or something. I used this mattress in all the cars that I've lived in and it's still alive. Ready for a road trip. This reminds me of the good old days living in my Honda element. It was a lot like this. Where are my mushrooms? These. I got these little mushroom lights. They are cute and I feel like they suit my personality quite nicely. I was gonna hang them around the edges, but I don't have safety pins. All right, let's just move on. I'll secure those somehow later. <laughs> This is the power source. One thing I've come to realize after having a van is I don't actually need that much power because I don't really do anything that requires power besides like charging my electronics. So this is perfect. I have an idea. Aha! Uh -huh. Here, we meet up with some amazing friends and spend a few days off-roading. This is awesome. All the Who says living in a vehicle has to be boring? I have a whole ass movie theater in here. Who else should we watch? My YouTube taste is so all over the place. I watch a lot of my friends that live in vehicles and travel and stuff. I like to watch their videos and see what they're up to. I watch a lot of music videos. I watch a lot of Diary of a CEO podcast. Okay, wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna bring this outside and I'm gonna make a movie theater in my yard. What, where should I do this? How should I do this? If you're wondering about this projector, this is the Nebula Mars 3, the sponsor of this video and the world's first extreme outdoor projector. What's unique about this projector is it's built for explorers. It's designed to be used outdoors. It's super high quality with IPX3 water resistance. It's dust proof, drop proof, and has a 185 watts per hour Rome power battery that lasts five hours for lots of movie time. The battery display can be viewed without even turning on the device, and it has an automatic lens cover that opens without any buttons. It's really compact and easy to carry with the carrying handle, and has a built-in control panel and a built-in tripod. It can also charge any electronic devices you may also have outdoors, and has built-in adjustable camping lights. This thing really gives you the full immersive cinematic experience like no other projector I've ever seen. Using AI image adjustment, it automatically adjusts the image color and brightness to work with whatever sort of outdoor lighting situation you're in. It can project up to 4 meters and a 200 inch ultra large screen. It's got a 270 degree 3 way 40 watt true surround sound speaker. This is great. This is wonderful, which means the sound quality is amazing and very immersive. I love using this in all sorts of situations. It's so easy to transport and set up that it's not a problem taking it from one place to another. So if you're looking for a way to make camping more fun or just looking for a high quality, thoughtfully designed projector, check out the Nebula Mars 3. I'm obsessed with mine and really excited to take it on future camping trips. My neighbors are probably like, what the f is going on over there? I have returned and this time I brought safety pins. I had to go all the way to Walmart to get these. I think Munchkin, do you mind? I think Walmart might be one of my least favorite places on earth. I made it out alive and I got my safety pins. So 
Now we can hang up the lights. So like half the reason that I am doing this to my car this week is because I was thinking of driving to the beach next week because I'm not sure if Stumpy's ever been to the beach and I would feel like a terrible mom if I didn't bring him at least once and the beach is not very close to here. It's like, I think like five or six hours away, but I really want Stumpy to see the beach. Lights. All right, I think this is it. We're officially ready for some summer road trips. Evidently, I can't own a vehicle without converting it into a, a house as well. So this is the setup. I love summer. I'm so excited to go on more adventures now that it's nice outside. Well, thanks for hanging out. Bye. <laughs> Sometimes I watch my videos back and I'm like, God, I am so annoying. But what else is new?